Hello everybody! Today I want to teach you a bit about polygons, how to make them, and how computers use them to display objects. I'm going to do all this by first explaining to you how circles are displayed by computers. The thing about computers is that they don't display actual curved lines. They create curved lines by using a large amount of small straight lines which looks indistinguishable from a curved line. If this seems confusing to you, hold on because I've got a couple of good examples. As you can see in the viewport, I have made a blue circle. On the left, I have my code which creates it with a radius of 1, colors it blue, and then displays it. This circle is named my polygon because I'm going to use it to demonstrate how polygons can be made with the circle command. As it is, the circle command actually automatically has produced the circle with a number of sides that makes it look like it has a smooth curved surface. But here's the cool part about the circle command. The command can take a second parameter which tells it how many sides to give the circle. So let's try something. After this first parameter for the radius, which gives it a radius of 1, let's put a comma and then 60, telling it to make a 60-sided polygon. See, after we press Run Program, we can see that it doesn't really look different, because 60 sides is enough to make it look like a smooth circle. So let's try it out with a much smaller number. Let's put 15 in there. After we press Run Program, we can see the sides individually on what was once a smooth circle. To really drive the point home, I'm going to make an octagon. And the way I'm going to do that is just by putting an 8 in there. There we go. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sides. We have just created an octagon using the circle command. So in conclusion, remember these things. Computers use straight lines in order to represent curves, and also the circle command can be used to create polygons by just putting in a second parameter representing the number of sides that you want your polygon to have.